Hello everyone. Uh, so I'm so happy to attend our conference to give this talk around our open source, around the tech, around the community. And I'm the Trista Pian, the co-founder and CTO of Sophia EX. My professional is around distributed database and an out the database management automation. So uh, apart from my uh, area, my professional, uh, I engage a lot in Apache Software Foundation and now uh, mentoring three uh, incubator Apache projects. So uh, that's one of the reasons I, I want to give some uh, talk around our open source, around our uh, community, because Sophia X, they start up, is based on a successful community or success, successful infra uh, database uh, project, that is the Apache Sharing Sophia. So apart from that, about our community, I uh, also help uh, such Apache Foundation projects or incubator projects to give their help or give their suggestions around their open source tech community and projects to make them become stronger, healthier, and popular. Sometimes I will post some articles around startup, around the distributed database, around big data, around open source on my Twitter and LinkedIn and GitHub. So if you are interested in such topics, welcome your look at them. Yeah, so today our topic is around the community. Before we really consider how to make your open source community become attractive, uh, we, need to, we need to know that um, a community is made of two important parts. First one is project itself. It could about, it include about the code, your programmer, uh, your programming, and your infrastructure, your documents. Another important part is the people. Because of the people, our community could have the capability to become the popular, become attractive, become diverse. So uh, today I will focus on two elements to give them uh, my thinking around them. The last one is about persistence. That's uh, another very important key point here because um, before we consider how to run our community, we need to first answer this question, why do you think that open source is important for you? So that's related to another element here, that is persistence. Some people will think you want to show your talents and get recognized from others, from the industry. Another people will think I want to uh, make our community become active. I want to uh, receive many feedback from our contributors or from our industry, from the users. And um, some people will think that um, I just don't want to make our uh, community become like live longer or uh, healthy so that will help for my business part so no matter which reason you want is your reasons I want to I want to know that part uh, I mean you need to know that part because because that will give you motivation give you uh, incentive around your persistence to run your community, to make your community become popular. So everyone has his answer. So what's about you? Uh, all right, so when we first solve the persistent issue, next one will really enter into project part and the people part. First, we need to answer the question, what's the key value of your project? Um, from the maintainer or from the founder of an open source project, uh, we just want to people give our feedback and use our product, but we need to change our pers uh, perspective. We need to become, we in the middle of become a user. Why we use this project? Because I found this project can help me solve the issues around, uh, around my industry, around my company. And the second, maybe I found the idea of the architecture of this open source project so attractive and so wonderful, fabulous. So I want to be part of that. That could become the rhythm. So 
From the maintainer part, you need to consider what's the value you can present to your end users and your contributors. Uh, that's the foundation of everything. Like take Apache Shard C Fair, for example. Uh, at the beginning, we really just have only one feature. That is how to shard our traditional database, like the PostgreSQL or uh, MySQL or Oracle, to make it become the distributed database. That's the only key features we can present to our users. And at that time, I mean, that's the maybe the around the 2016 or 2017, uh, shard or distributed system is so hot. So people want to use it to help them to upgrade efficiently and effectively their traditional database cluster, uh, MySQL cluster or PostgreSQL cluster. That's the value. Because of that value, we can attract the first bunch of the users and the contributors. And gradually, that we found, we need to consider the next step, the next milestone for our project or for our community. Because that I, I gave this example here, Apache Attic. So Apache Attic is a group project that uh, all of them that people don't want to use them or have no values for the future users or no people want to maintain them. So they enter into the frozen time, frozen period, right? So that means maybe one day they will really die, but currently they are frozen. So uh, we don't want to our open source projects become uh, died in one day, uh, we hope, right? So we need to consider the next milestone or the future of this project. And for sharding Sophia, uh, we found that people not just want to use a shirt, not just want to make their traditional database become the distributed system, they also want to uh, help them to uh, automatically manage their database, uh, like um, uh, data encryption or database gateway, or help them to governance the uh, traffic of our database and your application. I mean, the traffic between application and your uh, database. Uh, so like the rewrite splitting or data encryption or SQL audit, distribute authentication. So we gradually found it not can just present the key, the, the only one key key values to users that sharding. We also present more features to our users. Then sharding Sophia from the database middleware become the data platform. So that's his story. I give this history just want to uh, take the evidence for our user for our audience that. If you want your community to become more and more popular, you need to consider current list value and future value, currently uh, perspective and future architecture. So that's the key values for your community. All right. So next part, oh, okay, that, that's the one of the benefits uh, from the successful open source. That means you can, you can have your startup company. The next part, it's about the uh, infrastructure. Uh, now you solve the, e solve the issue that why open source is, is important for you and what's the value for your open source project. Next one, that how to build this building. Uh, first, you need infrastructure. The infrastructure includes two parts. First one is hot, I mean infrastructure. Uh, like the, your code base, right? And your test system and your develop, developing language, what's your developing language, uh, etc. So here I gave the important elemental factors here for your hot I mean, infrastructure. Uh, no matter you are a newcomer uh, or you are veteran, I recommend GitHub. It's not the pitch, but it's really useful for us uh, because GitHub, uh, it's a platform it can pre uh, which can pre present a lot of useful uh, tools, infrastructures, GitHub actions to help you create your code base, uh, give a place, create a place for users to raise the uh, users and committers to raise the pull requests and issues and run your all the tests. 
So that's important. Another one, it's about your programming language. Uh, from this image you can see here, it's the most in-demand programming language 2022. And if your project is developed by Python, that means uh, most of the develop Python developers could be the potential committer or contributors to your community, right? That gave your community a lot of a chance. But if you use a de developer language that a few of the people uh, use it for their project, that means um, you only have a small uh, contributor, potential contributor base for you to pick up. So you know my point, you get my point, right? Yeah. Uh, so uh, by using GitHub or other uh, platform, you create your code base, you create the uh, cornerstone for your building, for your project, for your open source community. The last part, it's about your, like the, I mean, soft infrastructure. It's the culture or policies or regulation of this community because you, we have to know that our open source community or open source projects is not for a group of people or only for you. It's open, right? That means you can get the feedback and the contribution from the people all over the world. But everyone, each one, has his thinking, has practice, has habits about coding, idea, and development, developing, uh, programming, right? So uh, we really want to this community, like, um, or this project is healthier, so we can uh, uh, sign up quickly and support the future higher. Uh, more, uh, more uh, requirements from our community, from the world, right? So we have to make up this regulation, this culture, calculate this culture. Uh, so anyone join here or the future people join here, he will found a community or this land is beautiful and it's regulated or it's opened for our uh, contributors or users, right? <clears throat> Because if everyone just have no rules, just to put his idea here, then this community one day will become messy and uh, stable, right, in the future. So uh, for that, to reach that goal, we need to create our fundamental stuff. That is about your documents, your code conduct, and your post, your articles, your documents. So here you can see that Sheridan Sophia has this document for each big release. And about the community, we also tell our people like how to get star and how to subscribe our Apache mail list and how to set up your die dev environment and how to do your contribution. We make all the stuff become convenient for contributors to join here because the maintainer, they only have two or three or a bunch of a maintainer, but they cannot face hand thousands, hundreds of the contributor or users to ask their question, right? We cannot give the, their answers, their answer their questions so quickly, so advanced. So we need this document to help us to make, make it convenient for our users, for our contributors to learn about this project, about this project, about this community. So how about how to do blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So uh, here you can see we have a lot of community, a lot of documents around our uh, projects, around our community, and also have some posts to introduce how others use our product for their scenarios, for, for their cases. So thanks for the community. They really help this help uh, this project become like the thriving uh, currently and in the future. Uh, thanks to all the contributors here. <laughs> yeah. And last part, it's about the people. So uh, 
Uh, so people, uh, uh, I said before that is the key point here because from Apache uh, community governance principle that they believe commu community is over code. They more uh, they think that the people is more important than code or rent your than your repo because if we just have the code base that means you you are only one people to maintain this repo you cannot you have no users you have no attentions you have no contributors to help you so that means it cannot have a long term healthy running mod right so we need people uh, how to attract people's attention uh, first at that side you solve the issue about the values or your about your milestones about your architecture of your community so some of the people who interested in who are interested in such ideas they will join here or your users who want to become the contributors to fix some the bugs and then you also need to create the uh, hierarchy this hierarchy, uh, like here, um, from the contribution level or from the professional aspect that we create this hierarchy to tell the people how professional this person is. Uh, from the project PMC, that is the project management committee, they have the uh, more knowledge around this community because they stay here for a long term and they really did a lot of contribution here so people trust them people trust their knowledge they are professional their idea uh, that uh, project management committee uh, and next part it's the next level is the committer the committer means that they did a lot of effort and time he, uh, time here took a, a lot of time here so they um, uh, they they are more professional than our contributor, right? So if they answer some question that people will think uh, his authority, it's okay to believe or to trust, right? The last part is contributor. That means they just um, like um, uh, come across this project and do some contribution uh, buildings and then lead left. That's okay, that's fine. And we also sense their efforts here, uh, but um, uh, it's a random, right? Okay, so next part is the user. User, uh, also they didn't give some uh, contribution here, but they uh, they will read their issues, their, an their questions, they help to answer some issues, uh, blah, blah. So uh, they, uh, they have the, like the majority uh, of that part. Uh, mass they're massive. Uh, but they also can help our project to grow up. So also important. So when we create this uh, hierarchy, that means each contributor will stay here to earn his authority. And some the, uh, and it also can help our, uh, ourselves uh, to know that um, uh, how to uh, make the people in different level to uh, stay here or to make them happy because I thought it's a double win. It's not just from the community. For all of the people, they stay here, they feel happy, they, f they feel that uh, they are recognized and by the uh, the community uh, by the community and they also learn a lot of new knowledges they practice their skill sites so they want to stay here right they want to do their uh, contribution here so it's a double win uh, when we have this uh, uh, hierarchy then we can to uh, tell our community, make it open, uh, because open communication can create more chance for the future users and the contributors or our PMCs. So uh, open communication is it's like the you need to pave the road for your users, right? If you have you have no communication channel, then people it's create a wall for your users, your contributors and yourself oh, it's so bad right so open communication is paved it's like pave the road for or for the to the world okay the last part it's about the people outside that means the 
Okay, all right. After that, I gave some cases to uh, evidence that the open open community is important, and the hierarchy and the uh, system, the uh, pop, uh, pop, 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 pop policy policy here is important because you can see here I published the discussion so people can have the chance to know what is happening in this community. And if you like it, this idea, they will give their pub, uh, public vote or cast their vote. And um, when we like um, welcome the new uh, committee here, uh, they will find, uh, wow, I'm so uh, welcomed by this community. They really published this um, uh, uh, email uh, and this um, uh, vote to tell that the whole community that I uh, today from today I will uh, become the committer of this community. I'm so honored to be here, right? So um, that's maybe will create the uh, belongings for them. The next part is about the people outside. That means we need to create the cooperation with the people uh, outside. Uh, first, uh, about the promotion part. Uh, here, uh, like Abadi Sharin Sophia, we have our channel, has our Twitter, uh, so we can help people uh, what is happening in the community. And if there are any newcomers here, uh, new uh, committers here, and also I will give some uh, talks uh, and about the tech, about the open source, uh, or write some articles to introduce these projects to tell people that um, we not just want to become the pitch, we not just to do the ad, uh, we really want to solve people's issues. So that's the uh, that's why we stay here. That's why I wrote that article. Uh, I just want to present value to our end user. And people have their choice to listen to, uh, to believe this project or not, to have a try or not. But uh, for us, we need firstly to tell people, hey, there is a wonderful project, I think. So do you want to have a try? Yeah. And about the cooperation, uh, like I said uh, here, this example, uh, Apache Shirin and Sophia also have created some like, um, like the mixed project uh, with an, another two Apache top level project. So we group a new team to leverage each of the project's uh, power and to create this new project to solve the uh, to solve the like the uh, uh, load test uh, online issue to for our users, so you can see here, right? So that's a potential chance for the cooperation. That can also each to affect uh, each of the community of the three pro projects, right? Because we create the cooperation, then the people in another project or another community will know us, will know this new project. Then people uh, that will can promote it or like create more new idea, uh, create more values to this industry. All right, so that's all about, about our uh, over Stack Overflow to publish our new article. Right, so the next part it's about the persistence. Uh, like I, uh, I gave some the talk about it at the beginning, right? So the persistence when the trust the precise. Uh, from the history of Apache Foundation, at the beginning they are so small, it's just a group of the people, but now uh, they have more than 300 uh, wonderful projects here. And for Apache Shooting Sophia, at the beginning we have zero stars on the GitHub. But now we have more than 16,000 uh, stars at GitHub. Uh, that's uh, charming or that's a power of the process, of the persistence. Um, if you like open source, if you believe your projects, if you want to make become diversity, want to become better in the future, then you need to learn how to be patient with the time. Uh, that's the like word I tell myself every day because it's not just about the open source project, 
It's also about our each person's life and about our career. So that's all the content about today's talk. If you have any question, I guess you can find me on my Twitter or GitHub, Chester Zero. So thanks for listening. Bye.